VHF or UHF? What is best? A common question. A common question when choosing two-way radios is, what is the difference between VHF and UHF? And, which one should I choose for my business needs? What are VHF and UHF? Firstly, it's best to explore what VHF and UHF are. VHF and UHF are two different wavelengths that two-way radios use to transmit communications. It's important to note that UHF and VHF radios cannot talk to each other. VHF stands for very high frequency, and each VHF wave has an average wavelength of about 2 meters. VHF has the advantage of longer wavelengths and delivers a better range per watt of energy than UHF. For example, a typical VHF repeater operating at around 25 watts with an antenna 25 meters high could achieve a coverage radius range of about 20 miles. However, a limitation of VHF is that it struggles to pass through solid objects. To transmit successfully, VHF requires few obstructions and a high antenna placement above buildings to achieve an unobstructed line of sight. Sometimes, there can also be a physical difference between VHF and UHF two-way radios. VHF antennas tend to be longer. What environments are best for VHF? Due to its long wavelength but difficulty penetrating steel and concrete, VHF is ideal to use exclusively outdoors, where minimal objects are in the way and the antenna can reach as high as possible, above all buildings and objects, to create a near-perfect line of sight. Particularly effective for use in agriculture, where a signal-boosting repeater can be used to maximize coverage. What industries would benefit from VHF? VHF would be suited to outdoors-related industries, such as agriculture, when working in rolling open fields, but, not inside farm buildings. VHF is the best option for farming outdoors, with a repeater installed with an antenna mounted high up, especially if you want mobile radios in your vehicles and machines. VHF would also be suitable for festivals or golf courses as these workplaces involve being outside. Equally, VHF would be suited to working in vehicles that need a relatively wide range because the antennas are on top of the vehicles. All about UHF. UHF stands for Ultra High Frequency. UHF has an average wavelength of about 70 centimeters. The advantage of UHF is that the waves can pass through solid objects much better than VHF waves. However, UHF wavelengths are shorter than VHF. A UHF repeater operating at around 25 watts, with an antenna 25 meters high, may only achieve a range of around 10 miles, compared to potentially double in VHF. A physical characteristic of UHF two-way radios is that UHF antennas on portable radios are usually more commonly seen in the short, stubby style. What environments are best for UHF? Having a shorter wavelength, UHF can penetrate solid objects and make its way through small gaps, which means, UHF can work well, both outdoors and indoors, in buildings made of steel and concrete. What industries would benefit from UHF? UHF works well for most applications and for this reason, it is the most popular. It is ideal for industries such as education, manufacturing, healthcare, retail, and hospitality. Suitable for a variety of industries that work inside buildings with many walls, an entrance hall, foyer, office, etc., as UHF is best at passing through solid objects. VHF versus UHF. Now that we have covered some of the technicalities of VHF and UHF, here's a comprehensive and easy to understand comparison of the two. This side by side comparison shows, at a glance, the differences between VHF and UHF, regarding, object penetration, signal range, ideal environments and industries. Radiotronics recommendations. Radiotronics recommends VHF for vehicle-only fleets with a signal-boosting repeater requiring maximum range. UHF is recommended for fleets with portable and vehicle radios, as it's likely that the portables will be inside buildings. 
UHF is always a better option when any radios are to be used in built-up areas or for indoor use. Ultimately, determining whether VHF or UHF two-way radios are best will be influenced by several factors. The rule of thumb is, typically, VHF is for wide-area vehicle two-way radios with a repeater. UHF is for portable two-way radios. Want to find out more? We hope this video has helped you understand the differences between VHF and UHF, and which one is best suited for different environments and tasks. Have any other questions? Our website has more detailed information about the topics covered in this video. Visit go.radiotronics.co.uk forward slash VHF hyphen VS hyphen UHF on your favorite web browser or see the comment section below this video for a link.